Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with FlexFilm. And in this video, we're gonna tint the rear door on a 2000 model Lexus LS400. This door is considered very difficult by a lot of window film installers. It's not because of the window itself, it's because of the obstacles that make this window very difficult. And in this video, we're gonna go over how we're gonna do it. Okay, let's get started. I've got the door open so we can look at what the problem is with this difficult door. I've got a mean looking seal right here. I've got to get the tent behind. Look how far my, my hard card goes behind that. And I've got the matrix dots here to contend with. I've also got this little button right here that holds the glass into place, as you can see on the outside. I've, I've even put my, my, my white card behind there just for contrast. I just wanted to be able to see uh, how far that went back there just to test it out. Uh, I've got the door panel itself. I've got a, a really hard piece of seal here that I mean, I can't even get my, my card back there without you know having to push it really hard. So that's gonna eliminate, these, these, these trouble spots are gonna eliminate me from wanting to bottom load. It's really gonna eliminate me from wanting to do a, a, a two-stage installation where I start at the top and uh, work my way down because where I have to fill, pull the film up I'm gonna really crease it really bad. I might not be able to recover from that because of how deep I've got to go behind this. I don't wanna cut this off because it's just the way the car is. I wanna keep my car as natural as I can keep it without causing any trouble. And again, I've got this super tight seal and I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with a, with a top load trying to get that to roll up in there. I'm only left with the only option here to take the door panel off, which I hate to do, but this was not too bad. I've gotta remove this um, control ashtray, whatever, I've got to, I've got to slide this, uh, this plastic piece out. I've got three screws at the bottom and I've got something going on right here. We'll make this a really quick uh, process to show you guys what I'm doing. This video is not about removing door panels, but at least I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing. Then we'll dive right into tenting this sucker. <laughs> Okay, now that we've removed the door panel, we're gonna start to, the process of tinting the window by crafting the film. And at this point, for all you viewers out there that are beginners, the tint does not go on the outside. It goes on the inside, but we're gonna use the outside of the glass to craft the pattern. So here we go. I like to just kind of clean the glass real quick, remove any dust, dirt, debris that might be on there. Just a quick step, kind of get around the paint a little bit so I don't get any contamination. And I'm gonna park that right there. And now at this point, I'm gonna go cut the piece of film and show back up on camera with a piece of film a little larger than the glass I'm about to tint. What I like to do to get the film that I'm gonna to use to tint the glass is I like to measure the glass with a ruler. And I usually measure it about an inch larger than I need to on each side, look from left to right, right to left. And I'm gonna come up with about 35 and a half inches. So I'm gonna take my tape measure over to my film and I'm just gonna pull it down 35 and a half inches. And I also know that it's gonna be 20 inches wide. I feel comfortable with 20 inches on this car because this is a 40 inch roll. I'm just gonna cut it in half. I got plenty of room to work with so I'm actually just freehanding this just to get the film. This is a 20% grade film and it is a ceramic film. And um, that's what we're gonna use. Let me walk over here. Okay, I'm gonna wet the glass. because I want the film to stick to it. I like to bite my film. I just wanna determine which side the release liner on. The release liner is on the side facing me. And um, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna place the film on the glass. I wanna make sure everything is covered. 
and there it is. I use a smart card to, now that this is a, this side is dry. I want to use a smart card to, uh, to anchor it down on the glass so that it doesn't move. Um, I'm also going to be real careful not to go over any uh, fingers to crease the film. And I'm using a lot of pressure to get the water. I really want this not to move. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to always try to figure out where I'm going to have to cut this eventually on my shop glass. This bottom seal here, by the way, is actually a little curved, so it's not exactly straight, and the Sharpie marker will show me that. I'm also gonna just see for what I'm, and I don't wanna crease the film. This is a two mil film, so I gotta be real careful. I wanna just really kinda ease, ease my way around the, the perimeter of this film, because I just wanna see what my boundaries are. What I, what I have to work with. This will all be noticeable in the glass when I put it up there in a second. <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is I want to I want to cut this edge over here, and we've got a an obstruction here, like a where, where a button is that's holding the glass on, and we've got a a lot of dot making. Okay, what I've done is I've gone on the inside of the glass, and I put a white Teflon hard card, and I wedged it in that seal, and now I can see the contrast with the matrix dots the white card and exactly where I want to cut. And it's a little painful here, but I'm going to move the card down as I cut because I want to get the exact cut that I want. And I'm not going to get in a hurry and I'm very picky. But I want to put the blade, you know, right on the edge of this. And I want to bring it down really slow to, to as far as I can see. And to get started, you know, I'm going to pull this film and tear it away from me like this. Uh, I could do a pre-trim if I don't want all this hanging over. It doesn't matter. I can get it away from me for the camera here. Okay. But I'm gonna move the card down a little at a time and I'm gonna just cut a little at a time. Now I'm ready to cut the next part of it. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna get a really good cut. Clean, straight. Okay, I'm gonna tear that. I'm gonna move it down some more. Uh, I don't run into windows like this on a regular basis, so I don't mind doing it a little slower than normal. Um, if I were gonna do this on every car, I'd probably get something wider so I could make this quicker. But for the video, I just wanna do it right rather than fast. <clears throat> People will forget speed, but they'll never forget quality. And so we're gonna kind of move on down the line here. Kind of get in a pinch here at the bottom. It's okay, I, I can probably just extend my straight line with my ruler, and I know I'm gonna be right on the same track. I'm gonna um, do something a little, little crafty here. I'm gonna take my card out real quick, it's real, real easy to do. And I'm gonna roll the window down because I wanna cut the top part. And the top part has a little trick to it. We'll see in a second. Okay. <clears throat> I wanna put my card kind of back in there. I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you can see that. But what we gotta contend with now is this, um, this little button right here. I gotta cut around it, but I'm not gonna cut around it and make it look pretty yet. I'll, I'm gonna do it enough to where I can do something with it here in a minute, I'll show you. I'm gonna try to continue my, my real pretty cut at the top. Let's see here. I'm gonna shift my card so I can see a little better. I actually have to get on the other side to do this the way I want to do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a very detailed person. I want this to look good. As you can see, 
I'm actually kind of clicking one time and easing around this little obstacle here. I'm gonna finish the cut at the top. Okay. We are, everything's looking good. Okay, we'll straighten all that up later. Okay, and now at this point, I'm gonna use my carbon blade. I put regular blades in these other knives, and this one I've got a black carbon blade, double hone, extra sharp, 25% sharper, because this step right here is very critical, and I want it to turn out really, really nice. So I'm gonna smooth the edge down, because I'm getting ready to cut this top edge. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start at the top here and just kind of guide my way with a sharp blade into this. And I'm going to ease it all the way around. I've got my elbow locked. I'm keeping it at the same level. This is very critical. I'm holding the film next to the glass so it doesn't give me any false cuts. And I'm almost finished. Okay. There we go, I love it. Turned out really, really nice. I'm gonna remark what I've rolled down so that I can see what this window does and how it shifts. We'll be able to see that in a second on the glass so that I can decide how I'm gonna ultimately finish my cuts. But <clears throat> everything that is done on the car is done and now everything we're gonna do next is gonna be finished on the glass. So let's go to the glass. Okay, now what I've done is I've actually removed my pattern from the car, which is behind me, placed it on my shop glass, put a little water behind it so it'll, so it'll stick. This, this is my favorite part, okay? This is where you know I can prevent any possibility of an error by the way I craft this pattern. And I'm just gonna say this just, to, just for the fun of it. If this is done right, this is gonna be better than a than a computer cut program. Now, if anybody wants to argue with that, what you're saying is that another tenor somewhere we don't know where scanned a pattern into the tent company that makes the software, and you think those patterns are better than the ones you can craft. If you want to go with that, I'm not going to argue with you. But I know this is my car, this is my pattern, this is my confidence. If I do it the way I know to do it, I know that my outcome is going to be awesome. Okay, so here's how it's going to roll. I've got this, I wanna, I wanna deal with this edge. I know it's exactly the way I want it, but I can make it better. I see exactly where my bottom edge was. I wanna go below that when I cut it, and I know I can cut it really smooth and straight just like I want it. <clears throat> Over here, I've got that really tight seal we talked about. I, I got two marks. I got one mark where it was rolled up, and I got another mark that shows how much it actually shifted when it was rolled down. Okay, I just know that I've gotta come around this outer mark but I, I, I'm gonna be covered when this window rolls down to not have a light gap. In other words, if I would have cut this on the car while the glass was down, I would be really in trouble when this window rolled up with a light gap, which happens to some people. Okay, over here, I've gotta, I gotta, I gotta round this corner up, and right here where this little bitty half moon is, it's, it's not attractive. I don't like the way it looks. I, I know it can be better, and I'm gonna use this circle tool to make it just perfect so it fits right around that little button. I mean, like it was meant to be. So I don't know what I want to tackle first. I, let's just go to, with this whole edge right here. I'm going to pick a half circle, which I think should be close to the size of this little button right here. Let's get a quick shot of this. Right here, okay. I'm going to take this half circle, and I'm going to put it right here. Because, I mean, I know that's where it's at, and that's what I want it to do and I want it to look pretty. See how pretty that looks? <clears throat> the, the next thing I want to do is I want to kind of straighten all this out just to make sure it's a perfectly straight line. It goes, a, it goes along my already predetermined path that we used that I took my time with. Oh yeah, okay. I got that just like I want. Now all this is gonna be hidden anyway 
behind the black. So if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. We got it close. I'm gonna smooth out these little kinks right here. Why not? I wanna make this pretty and round so that corner doesn't you know, cause any trouble by wanting to peel later on. Okay, so I've conquered this whole side. The next thing I wanna do is let's uh, finish this long cut around here and then we'll have a really nice pattern. Since we're gonna take advantage of the fact the door panel's off and we're gonna actually cut a little longer than we would if the door panel was gonna remain on. Just because we have all the room in the world to go down in the, the, I wouldn't say the world, but we have a lot of room to go to the bottom without an obstruction. So I'm just gonna freehand this around my already determined boundary. And then I'm gonna go a little below this one, holding my knife firm. I got a smooth cut, no jagged edges, no room for peeling. And I'm gonna remove the excess. <clears throat> and then I've got this one more corner over here to contend with, which I can just kind of round up. It doesn't matter if it's real super pretty. It's gonna be hidden anyway from the world, but you just don't want it to peel up. Okay, I got a little bit of a ruffle heel and I wanna just kinda, kinda clean it up a little bit. Just anything that looks good on the glass will just look good when you, when it, when you finish the installation. Okay, I'm happy with this pattern. I'm gonna put the pattern back on the car, do a quick shrink at the bottom. It's just a habit, probably not necessary, but I wanna make sure I don't have any problems with the fingers popping up. I want a smooth insulation, so we're gonna go to the car next. Okay, in this step, what we're gonna do is a quick shrink before we install the window film, just for insurance. We don't have to do this, but it's always a, it's a habit of mine. It's a good habit, it's never let me down. This is called the double snap. What we're gonna do is quickly wet the window. Now I'm gonna grab the pattern off the glass that we've already crafted. And what we're gonna do is quickly just place it on the glass, about an inch above the bottom seal. We're gonna use our smart card to kind of lay it out, smooth it down. What we're trying to do is just get it ready to shrink, get all the water out from underneath it. Just gonna shrink the bottom of it real quick. I've got a brand new heat gun. I've really been enjoying this one. This is a new Ironton that might be as powerful as the predecessor. This is the, not the, there are two types of Ironton guns. This is the one that comes in the kit. It's got a lot more horsepower than the other one. I've been testing it out. So really, we're just gonna do a quick shrink here. I'm trying to, I've never used this gun before. This is actually the first time I've ever used this gun, so I'm trying to get the feel for it. I don't really have to do a lot of shrinking here because there's no door panel to really worry about, but I wanna do a little bit, just a little bit. Just a habit, it's a good habit. It's always kept fingers from coming up, you know, when I didn't need them. And if I don't do it, I don't feel like I'm, feel like I'm leaving a step off. Anyway, that's all we're gonna do. So when we come back on the next step, we're gonna be installing the film, uh, doing a little prep installation. We're getting close to wrapping it up. Okay, so what, what we're about to do is we're about to prep the inside of this glass because we're getting ready to install the film on the inside. What we've done before this is we just, we just crafted a perfect pattern and we shrunk it just right. It is a step that's probably not necessary on the shrinking part, but it's a good habit. It's a good habit that I don't want to break. Probably wasn't necessary to shrink it because we did remove the door panel. But anyway, I like to do it and I don't want to get out of the habit of not doing it. So anyway, to clean this window, what we're going to do is use a, a, a pre-tack solution which is mainly isopropyl alcohol and a combination of, of other surfactants. And it's almost like a glass cleaner. If you don't have this product, you probably could use a, a glass cleaner in, in this phase. But what I wanna do is I wanna wet the entire glass. And um, <clears throat> I just kinda wanna feel it with my fingertips. And if I feel any kind of uh, stickers, hardened particles or anything like that, I'll, I'll certainly pull out my retractable scraper. But if I feel pretty good about this, I'm gonna just use my white scrubby. It seems to be a lot easier on the glass and is less likely to scratch. But I'm just gonna thoroughly and aggressively uh, <clears throat> clean it. I, I wanna actually get my glass 
cleaner than I could just using slip solution alone, which a lot of window film installers, I feel like make that mistake. Um, this is actually a, a low surface tension cleaner. I don't want to make the video about this cleaner and what it does, but basically a low surface tension cleaner gets to the pores of the glass, whereas uh, cleaners that have don't, that don't have a low surface tension don't ever get deeper in the pores of the glass and you don't get the right or as good of a clean job as you can with this. <clears throat> so I'm kind of feeling around. I'm going to, you know, kind of kind of hit the top edge. That's a very important area to clean. I want to dry it really good. Hear that? That's what you want to get, a really clean glass. When you know it's clean, uh, when you can feel it, and it's just, it doesn't feel soft. It just feels like, you know, squeaky clean. It's going to make our film bond exactly the way it was designed to, so it doesn't roll off the glass or anything. Sometimes you can compromise the adhesive if you don't prep properly, especially with some of this newer acoustical style glass on some of these newer cars. And of course, this is an old car. We don't have anything like that to worry about. <clears throat> um, I also want to point out that this car's had some tint on it previously. It has been stripped really well, but I want to uh, do an insurance move here. I want to get the what I can't really see in these cracks and I want to kind of visit this area and along the bottom. And what I want to do is I want to use two blades here this is just an extra quick step. I want to get any material that got below the, the, the door panel that I couldn't get earlier, which is a little there. I want to take my Ulfa knife. Let's see which one I want to use. I want to use uh, this one here. And I want to retract it out about this far, seven, eight, nine clicks. And I want to gently put it in here and scrape along the edge where I deep where I can't reach with or the retractable blade. And I also want to possibly get anything that could be behind this seal. See how far this blade goes back there? I can really get some scraping going on back there where I can't even think about getting a retractable blade. <clears throat> get the top too. Okay, boom. I got that. I want to roll the window down to the to an area. This is how I want to install it. I want to be able to access this whole edge and I want to be able to see enough at the bottom where I can completely control installing this window film in, in one solid piece. I don't want to do a two stage installation because I have the door panel off. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is I just want to take my, um, I like to use my yellow turbo squeegee. I, I could do this a lot of different ways. Um, <clears throat> I have the two most popular squeegees out there, the Blue Max and the Go Doctor. I like the Blue Max and all, but it's a little old. I think I'm gonna use this one because I just put a brand new blade in it. Oh, I like brand new blades. I could sit here and I could do this step, of course, with this one, but I'm old school and I like my yellow turbo. No particular reason, I just like the way it's designed. I like the point. I like the way I hold it. I can get it anywhere I want. Sometimes I feel a little bit restricted because I can't get these bigger tools in, in these little cracks and crevices as, as well as I can the, the yellow turbo. So I'm gonna stick with my old school habits. I'm gonna use the yellow turbo. It's relatively new. I'm gonna um, always dry that top edge with one stroke. I don't wanna sit there and go back and forth and get trash, I just wanna do one clean swipe. Then I wanna kinda of do this in rows. I wanna wipe my blade every time and I'm just gonna Work my way down. And I can turn it this way. See, I can get that tip down there really far. Have trouble doing that sometimes with the bigger squeegees. That's why I switch them up. Okay. Also, in prepping, I wanna do some additional squeegeeing. I'm gonna use this platinum because it's really thin and I can get in these cracks that I wanna squeegee. I wanna squeegee in there. See, there's that little rivet there screw, bolt, whatever it is that holds that glass in. And I want to stick my, the tip of this in there. And I want to, I want to squeegee all that water down. Okay, right there. See, it's kind of dirty, it's got a lot of water there. I also want to come over here and I want to squeegee behind here. You see, right now I know there's about an inch of glass that's gonna be exposed as this rolls up. And you know, I don't want to neglect that because when it rolls up and it's got a little piece of trash in it, it's because I didn't do this step right here. So anyway, there's a lot of thought process here when it comes to 
you know, prepping glass for an install where you, you know, get, you're going to get a clean installation. I want to just kind of, kind of wet this a little bit at the bottom and push some of that area down at the very bottom that I couldn't quite access or didn't want to stick anything down. I also want to mist the glass. Now, now right now I am using my, uh, my, my I'm going to call it slip solution. This is our pre-tac, uh, our mix, mixing instructions on how we mix it is at tenttac.com and uh, videos will show you all that. So even on our website. Anyway, I've got the, the glass misted and then prepared for install. And on the next scene, I'm gonna go to the glass, I'm gonna pull the release liner, I'm gonna spray the film, and then we're gonna bring it back and install it. Here we go. Okay, I wanna do a little quick scene here where I wanna show you something that I'm gonna make an exception only for this car and uh, why I'm gonna make this exception, it's a very important step. But I'm gonna go normal here and just wet my release liner, always wet my release liner, because I wanna you know, eliminate any possibility of dust from the static electricity when pulling the release liner. So I'm gonna come to the bottom and I'm gonna grab the release liner. And this, we're gonna do a one stage installation. So I'm taking it all off, because we have the door panel off. I'm gonna thoroughly wet the film with my slip solution, tent tack. Then I'm gonna take the tent tack itself. You could use baby shampoo or you know, anything that you're using for slip solution. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra, like literally just rub it on here on the edge. And I'm gonna rub it on to this edge and get it on there really thick. Cause I've gotta slide that film behind a really tight seal and I need a little extra slip here. I'm also gonna to go to the inside of the glass and I'm gonna put some inside the cracks that I'm having trouble with. So I'm gonna reduce my friction. So this is just gonna slide in really, really smooth. Okay, we've let a couple of minutes go by because we're having to set cameras up, but I wanna re-wet this again. But I wanna, I wanna show you the in, inside what I'm gonna do also to complement what I did on the outside. Again, I'm gonna take a, a, any kind of card. I like my thin one. I'm gonna put a little bit of my tent tack on it. And I'm gonna come over here and sort of jam it in the, in the edges here because I need this to be really slippery in here. And I also wanna come over here and put a little bit in here. Let's see, I'll wipe it off. I don't want any dirt coming back in there. It's easy to contaminate it if you don't watch out. It's a little messy here, but hey, trust me, I don't mind the mess. If I can eliminate the problems I'm gonna have getting that film to slide in there, this is gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna go back and grab that piece of film that I've already prepared, and we're gonna put it on. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. I was having a hard time getting it off the glass because I'm letting it sit <laughs> longer than I should. But it's okay. We can do this. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to not get in a hurry. I'm going to kind of ease it on here. I'm going to put a little pressure to get it back in there. I'm going to kind of focus on the bottom here. Kind of get it in there. Again, I'm going to focus on sliding it to the right. I'm gonna create me a little space over here because I am trying to, okay. Make sure I get a little more moisture on it. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use a smart card. I can use my Platinum Easy Reach. I'm trying to create that critical space that I need to slide that back in there, which I did because I got that slip, uh, that tent tack in there. Now I'm lining it up. It's the fun part now. See, I, I, I'm moving it around exactly where I want it. Okay. All right, look at that. I've got it in there just like I want it. I've got to make sure I, I put all the, you know, I just want to flatten it out with my hands. I want that perfect little, ooh, that little gap on there. 
I like that. Okay. All right, now it's just time for the easy part. We're going to squeegee it out. Okay, we'll go across the top. I'm not really worried about making this a real hard, you know, I'm not going to make it a aggressive pass. This is my, my pass number one, where I want everything to lay down. Uh, this is my style. A lot of people might want to take this, um, you know, this, this all-in-one tool and just start slamming it, making it uh, lay down real hard on the first pass. That's fine. Not my style. I, I'm, I'm a little more methodical. I want to... I want a really perfect job and I want to do a first pass with this squeegee here, uh, the yellow turbo that I've custom cut. And then I want to come back and do what they refer to as a final pass or a hard tool phase, which right now <clears throat> I am happy with everything that's going on with this window. I can probably take any hard card, I might even I'm going to go back to my Platinum. It's a little bit thinner and a little easier to, it's got some soap on it too. So I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of squeegeeing behind the scenes there. I'm going to put it back behind there, go down and get where I can't get with any kind of squeegee. And um, might even toy with rolling it up a little bit. See, I got some more to squeegee there. Don't want to leave anything out here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something with this particular car. I don't normally do this, but, oops. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. The seals are so tight, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to, it's not a problem. I, I wanna show mistakes because I don't want you to think life's perfect. As I was saying, I wanna go back and do some heating on this window on the outside, then roll it up and then come back and do some more squeegeeing. I, I had no complications from that. It was just an aggravation because this film is not stuck yet and these seals are so tight on this car that I've got to figure out a way to get this film to start to bond. And the only way to do that is to take a heat gun and heat this up, which I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna roll it up and then we're not gonna have that complication anymore. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> What, I, what, what you're going to do here is to prevent that complication is you're going to make sure I look at the right camera here is you're just going to come out here and heat this up uh, aggressively but you know I'm going to continue to touch the, the glass intermittently and if it gets to where it's kind of too hot for me to touch I'm, I'm heating it too, too much but I'm going to heat the trouble edges which is over here Okay. I'm gonna try to get it to stick. Yep. Okay. This is why we call this a hard window. It's not like part of the routine that we are used to dealing with where we, where we put a piece of film on, roll it up, and everything works. This one has a lot of pitfalls and that's what we've got to do these extra steps. We've got this seal over here that we've got to slide the film in. We've got a lot of stuff going on here with this window. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably even gonna, for good measure, I'm gonna wet this with my slip solution. I really need this to slide when I roll it up and I don't want it to interfere at all. Okay, got this window up now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to do a final stage or final pass with my brand new Go Doctor. And I'm just going to, again, this is the hard one. This is the one where I'm pushing all the water out. This is the one that's going to keep the air bubbles. I'm sorry, the water bubbles from, you know, making the customers upset and the curing process and uh, make it look really smooth and clean. Okay. Again, I don't want to 
I'm making an exception. I roll this window up. I usually like to squeeze you hard at the top, but I want this window to, to stay there. I want it to cure. I want this window, you know, to, to dry for at least a day before I even think about rolling this window up and down only because these seals are so tight and they will make the film peel off as soon as you roll it down. Uh, <clears throat> in extreme situations, sometimes I've even been known to actually put soap, I mean, heavy soap on these seals before we roll it up to keep that friction down so that the window film won't peel off like it just did. I'm so glad this window film peeled off in front of the camera so you can at least see what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, that's what makes window film exciting and difficult is the, these types of challenges when you get these random cars like this that come in and uh, have these little extra little steps that nobody ever trained you how to do. So again, we've got the film on. The next part of the video is gonna be me cleaning things up putting the door panel back on, and then we're gonna do a final shot of what this window looks like. Thanks for watching.